Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts, he is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. He's an extremely well-rounded mixed martial artist. Fantastic stand-up, great wrestler, and very slick on the ground. He's worked hard to have world-class skills in every aspect of the sport, and there are very few, if any, holes in his game. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC walk-away division. It's a decent place. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, Ebro Wang. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back. This to has the been point. one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. Here we go. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, so here we go with round one, and let's see how early he can find his range when it comes to the kicking game. We mentioned it on his walkout tonight. Massive power in those kicks. Let's see how he chooses to attack with it here. Nice. And there he swung with a haymaker. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, he's clearly hurt. Oh, huge right hand. Big kick, but miss. 
So more output, at least in the early going. How about that shin? Oh, huge shot there. Good defense there. Nice hook there. Fainting with that kick. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Switching stances here. Now he switches his stance again. And the kick lands. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. And now starting to snap off that jab. He's doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Big Vicious body shot, shot. body. Oh. A big shot to the head. What a fight we got going on here. Oh, very nice. Big straight punch. The left hook hits home. Back to the jab now. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Finds a home for that left hook. Nice takedown. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Move to full guard. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Beautiful hammer fist. Oh, he gets reversed. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Under now in the clinch. And they disengage from the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, Joe, I'm not sure how many more of these straight punches he can eat. Leaving that head wide open. He's been susceptible to that strike all night long. And I know he has confidence in his chin, but you got to be careful. He's become a sitting duck here. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he pumbles under Joe, veteran savvy there. Now he's got the underhook. Takedown attempt late, and it's good. On top, in half guard. Side control. 15 seconds. Oh, nice shot there on the inside. Double underhooks. He pummels out of double underhooks. Five minutes to the books. Thank you. Guys, thank you. No big deal. You got a little cut. It's not going to affect us at all. Do not worry about it. You need to take a deep. Let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a big shot that almost ends this fight. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here we see excellent timing with this trip. Brittany Palmer with us. A little bit of blood, not a big deal, not gonna stop the fight. I don't even want you thinking about that. Refocus, let's get our mind right. I need you to go back out there, and I want you to be aggressive. All right, round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. 
Oh, Hit him hard with that hook. hook. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Body kick, look at that. Check that kick as well. Oh! Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nasty counter to the body. Big body, body shot. shot there too. And now he lands a combination. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight run. Look oh, like it did him a little bit. He's hurt here. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Head kick! Oh! That one hurt. Gets home. Oh, straight right. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find him again. He's hurt. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. <gasps> Big shots. Hard straight punch. Oh, big left. Beautiful jab. Jabs off the left and jabs off the right. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Well, oh, he's hurt again. He is clearly in big, big trouble. Oh, he might oh, be he out. Hands again. He's hurt. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Very nice sweep. Lines up at his opponent's guard. Hits the reversal and now in half guard. And he's trying to pass. Two minutes to go in the round. He's inside control here. He's got half guard. And he winds up on top. Now he's in full guard. He's looking to take the back. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. And back to full guard. Into half guard again. Full guard now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. He's gonna try to take the back. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Wow! Oh! He had been landing clean counters throughout this fight, but this is the last one that landed picture perfect for the knockout. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Here it is one more time. Boom! Perfectly placed uppercut. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth Madrano Lee. 
So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here tonight.